Hi, I'm Lori Zatelli from UPMC in Pittsburgh. I'm making this video to show you what it looks like from the perspective of a person who's clicked on a Qualtrics link to take them to a survey to submit all of their application materials for an AUD externship. Um, so the person is going to receive a link either from a website or in an email or, or one way or another, somehow from you in your clinic. And when the person clicks on the link, they will be taken to a web page that has a survey that's been created by you, the clinic. Um, and I have a previous video that shows you how to do that if you're interested, and also another video that shows you how to analyze the data that have been submitted. Um, so the first couple parts of the survey for the person who clicks the link are just explaining what the survey's purpose is, um, a reminder of the ASIN timeline, um, and all of the deadlines that are associated. And then I like to include information about what is required to have a complete application. I also include information that lets them read a description of all of the activities that we have in our clinic. So if the person clicks the link, a file is gonna open and they can read um, a little bit about our hospital system, a little bit about our employees, a little bit about all of the different opportunities that are available in our clinic. So you may or may not choose to have something like this available. Um, descriptions of all of the different activities and locations and things like that. Um, so the, the next part of the survey is where the person has to indicate whether they're a student submitting an application or an instructor or a faculty externship coordinator submitting a letter of recommendation. So I'll go through this um, each, each of the different ways just to show you what it looks like. So this time around, we're gonna pretend like we're an AUD student applicant. So I'm gonna select that option. It is asking me my first and last name as the applicant, so I'm going to put in my name and indicate that I attend the University of Pittsburgh, go Pitt. Um, it's asking for my email address, so I'll, I'll include that as well. And then it's asking me for two documents. It wants a copy of my Vita in PDF format, so I'm going to drag and drop that there. And it also wants a copy of my letter of interest, so I'm going to drag and drop that here as well. The last thing that it's asking for me is whether I want to in interview in person in Pittsburgh or virtually over Zoom. So I'm going to say I'll stay in Pittsburgh for that. Um, after you submit, it takes you to a page that just essentially says thank you and then to email me if there are any questions. And that's it. So now I'll take you back through the perspective of someone who's taking the survey as a letter writer. So again, we'll click that same exact link. The same survey will open. All of the information up top is the same. This time we're going to indicate that we are an academic or a clinical instructor. We'll move to the next screen. So then it's asking the instructor's name. So I'm going to tell them my name and my email address and the name of the student for um, whom I'm submitting the letter. So the student, let's just say student one, and then we'll say University of Pittsburgh. This is the place where I can upload my letter of recommendation for the student. So it's telling me it wants, to, wants it to be formatted as student name, letter of recommendation, and then my last name as the person who's writing the letter. So that all looks good to me. It's in PDF format, all set there. And then, and then I'm ready to submit. So I'll click the button, and then it takes me to that same page that says email Lori if you have any questions. And that's it. I hope this is helpful for you.